In today's video, I'm gonna go through the best and my favorite weapon mods in Outriders. This one is mainly gonna be focused around legendary tier 3 mods, since those are obviously the most powerful. But there's also some tier 2 mods, and even tier 1 mods that I'm gonna talk about. If that sounds... Whoa, 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 whoa. What is that I'm seeing, Michael? You are not subscribed? Don't be like Michael, guys, and hit that subscribe button. So you don't miss out on the daily Outriders content. And you can also find me live streaming at twitch.tv slash wids. With that said, let's get the video started. So with all that said, let's get into the actual weapon mods. So we're gonna start quickly here just to talk a little bit about the tier 1 mods. And I guess in particular a lot of these uh, bleeding, burning, freezing, toxic, weaken, and ashen. And even stiffening. So all of those you can get they start at just normal 8 second cooldown then you get the improved one which is 4 second and then you get the, the ultimate one which is 1 second cooldown those one can be pretty good if you have a build around it for example freezing maybe bleeding to trigger other stuff and of course vulnerability as well I kind of missed her it's good to get extra damage but in general with her 1 mods there's not really that many good ones that I think if you need weapon life leech, you could use ruler of leeches. And then also essence fief, I guess, if you really want it. But other than that, tier 1 mods are not that impressive. So we're gonna go to use tier 2 mods. And we're gonna start with the bone shrapnel, which is definitely one of my favorite uh, talents right now. Killing shot detonate the enemy's bones and turn them into shrapnel that deals 200k damage and inflict bleed on enemies within a 5 meter radius. And this only level 1 second cooldown. So really good to speed up the add clear. You kill a mob and then it just explodes. And on top of that, they also inflict bleed on the other enemies. So it's a good way to keep uh, bleed on the enemies for additional damage. Or replenish your mag with like such like vampiric mag. There is also an ultimate bone shrapnel which is tier 3. I don't have it on here but I will put it on the screen. But basically the kind of the difference is that that's just crit shots instead of killing shot. The downside with that is that it's a tier 3 mod. So you will be forced to use a spirit hunter or only have one tier 3 mod. So that's why I think Bone Shrapnel is way better. Because you can use it in combination with the tier 3 mods. Then we have another talent which is similar to Bone Shrapnel. Not as good but it's pretty decent. And don't have a similar effect with Ad Clear. And that's Minefield. So Killing Shot spawns explosives around your target. Each deals 58,000 in 5 meter radius. This takes a bit longer for the explosives to explode. Compared to Bone Shrapnel. So I would definitely prefer Bone Shrapnel, but this is a good uh, substitute if you don't have it. And there's also a Legendary Minefield, which is similar to Bone Shrapnel. It's critical shot spawns explosions around your target. So instead of getting kills, you only need to get crits. But once again, it's the same issue here. It's a tier 3 mod, so it's not really worth to go for it. Since you have to give up another tier 3 mod for a possible god roll. Then we have uh, Death Chains, which is a pretty decent uh, mod, especially if you do like reload stuff. So shots entangle an enemy with chains, dealing 193,000 damage over 3 seconds. It works really well with the scrap grenade, which we're gonna get into later. But yeah, you hit the targets, and it does 200k over 3 seconds. It can be working pretty decent in the, in the reload uh, builds. For pure damage, anomaly en enhancement can be pretty decent. I don't think there's too many good tier 2 mods for damage, but anomaly enhancement, especially if you have some anomaly power, will give you a decent boost to, to the firepower. Then we have uh, one mod that I used a lot in the beginning, and that's Perp Jump uh, Mobile. It's a pretty good way to replenish your magazine, especially if you play ability power builds. There are better options for most classes though, but I think for Pyro, for example, this is one of the best ways to keep uh, the ammo. But definitely a talent you can get some pretty good use to before you get uh, the best in slot uh, stuff. Another talent actually that I liked a lot is Crematorium. Which is killing shot, create an explosion that inflict ash on enemies within a 7 meter radius. It only got 1 second cooldown. So it can be really good on maps with humans. And you can just keep them CC all the time. Another talent that is pretty cool. Especially if you play as a techno. Is Icebreaker. I haven't really used this one. But killing shots against frozen enemies make them explode. Dealing 200k in an AoE effect. Only 1 second cooldown. Could be pretty fun to use. Probably not the best. But I thought it was worth mentioning. But that's basically the tier 2 mods that I think are worth using. So with that said, let's go to the tier 3 mods. So we're gonna start with probably one of the most popular ones. I 
and probably one of my favorites when it comes to damage and that's uh, killing spree so killing shots increase damage by 25 percent for this weapon for 20 seconds bonus gets lost with time and stacks up to three kills so 20 seconds which is huge 25 times 3 that's 75 percent weapon damage which is just uh, nuts so definitely in my opinion the best damage talent and definitely a mod that you really need to have then in terms of damage talents we also have the tier 3 mod fortress i did make a video about death shield if you're interested in that but this is like the most versatile damage talent in the game you get up to 43 percent damage bonus based on your armor 50,000 armor gives you 43 damage bonus so you don't really need additional talents on top of that and this also increases your anomaly damage as well so really good for skill builds and just damage builds overall so we have Embalmer's Rage, which comes from the Pump Shotgun, the High Roller. Actually, one of the two legendaries I have not gotten yet. So for five seconds after a killing shot, all following shots will be critical shots with a four second cooldown. And this one just sounds amazing. I've seen my friend Nick2 play it with his Trickster and it looked really, really strong. And you can make some pretty fun build as well, since all your shots will basically be crits. So definitely a mod that I highly suggest you guys to try out some builds with. I can't really wait until I get mine. Hopefully I get it soon. But yeah, super dope mod, especially for like guns that you usually don't crit with. So like especially playing Trickster Shotgun. But even if you play like a Techno with AR, maybe you play on controller and I heard the, the aiming is pretty wonky. This would give you crits all the time, which is insanely good if you have high crit damage. And if you don't hit the crit spot that much regularly. Then we also have uh, Golem's Limb, which is one of the guns I haven't gotten either. This one and the High Roller is the two I miss. Which is a pretty cool one. I haven't gotten to test it in the actual game, but I did test it during the demo. So I got Golem Rising. So killing shots grant you protective Golem effect for 3 seconds. Pretty similar to Emergency Stance. It literally gives you the same effect. 65% damage reduction. But this one gives you that on a killing shot. Sadly though, with the Emergency Stance being bugged, and also there being so many good weapon mods i don't really see myself using it because i would have to lose so much damage with that sacrifice but still i think it's worth the mentioning because i think it's still a good mod then we have a moaning winds which is uh, another reload talent so it works really good with uh, with anomaly power builds focus around skills so reloading creates a strong blast around you dealing 387k damage to enemies in a range of eight meters so really insane talent, but the downside is of course the 8 seconds. But a lot of the skill builds, this is actually pretty perfect. Because you don't have time to reload more than like once every 8 seconds, right? So that's a huge uh, damage boost. So in a perfect world, you put this on a gun that reloads uh, faster. Because this is 2 second reload. If you would use full auto pistol, that would be 1.3 seconds. And that would be pretty damn good. Then we have Scrap Grenade. So the first shot after reload becomes an anomaly projectile, dealing 226,000 damage in a 5 meter radius with a 1 second cooldown once again. So this is also a really good talent just to have for a gun that you reload. Like if you would combine this with the Moaning Winds, you would have pretty good damage when you do the reload. 1.57 reload. So I mean, if you would put on the Moaning Winds on this and have Scrap Grenade, perfect gun for skill builds just to swap to that one do the reload then swap back to your death shield or whatever with fortress buff really good way to get additional damage while you have your skills on cooldown and this one you can also pick up at the vendor which is right here so really easy to, to get that, that one then we have wrath of moloch which comes on inferno seed which is actually a pretty good legendary weapon it's assault rifle tactical version which is the burst they are which is super super strong right now and the talent is critical hits cause an explosion, dealing 161,000 damage and inflicting burn on enemies within a 5 meter radius on a 3 second cooldown. So I think this could be pretty nice in certain pyro builds. Just the fact that it deals pretty good AoE damage and on top of that also inflicting with burn is just really really strong. So if you can get a good roll on this and if you're playing pyro, I think that would be probably worth to check out. Shadow Comet. So shots call down a comet dealing 210,000 damage to enemies within a 3.5 meter radius and also got a 3 second cooldown. This is actually a talent I like quite a lot especially if you use it on a, on a build that doesn't require 100% on weapon damage like a normally power skill build for example. So I use that on my trickster and it's pretty decent for AoE and it doesn't require you to do anything except shooting so 
every three seconds you just hit one enemy and you do pretty damn good damage in a 3.5 meter aoe so definitely a talent worth to check out then i guess we have a few more that i don't think are the best but i think they're worth uh, mentioning so one being concentration blast so killing shots cause enemies to explode dealing 113,000 damage multiplied by the maximum number of six enemies within a five meter radius around the original target with a one second cooldown i have not gotten to test this yet but i assume this will be a super good talent especially for a shotgun build so i probably will test this one and hopefully it's as amazing as i think and yeah so keep that in mind because there are another one lucky which sounds really good with pinball but the way it scales is just really really bad for example i would do 500,000 damage but uh, the ricochet to four enemies would only do like 50k because it scales from the the weapons uh, base damage instead of like scaling off the the bullet damage which i think it should do so kind of useless so it's worth to keep that in mind then we also have the, the Iceberg with the Winter Blast. Critical shots create an icy blast that inflicts freeze on enemies within a 4 meter radius with a 1 second cooldown. I kind of love ice and the fact that you can put people on, on ice all the time. And especially if you would combine this with something like Embalmer's Rage. It wouldn't be the best but you would make everything into ice and I think that would just be a really fun way to play. Then we have a kinetic stomp. Shots create a seismic shock around you, dealing 230k damage in a 5 meter radius with a 4 second cooldown. Really similar to the shadow comment we just went through earlier. I think that could be a really good thing to use in like an anomaly power skill build. Because every 4 seconds you can just shoot and get free AoE damage. And this have a bit bigger radius as well. Haven't gotten to test this yet because I didn't want to <laughs> scrap it. But yeah, it should be pretty much close to to the comet just that this one is around you and not where you shoot anyway that's gonna be it for this video i hope you guys found this video helpful and if you like the video make sure you actually like it and if you didn't like it dislike it if you're interested in more videos like this then make sure you hit the subscribe button since i make outrageous videos just like this one daily i also do live stream daily on twitch.tv slash wids so follow that one as well so you don't miss me live with that said though, I catch you on the stream or in the next video.